Welcome to Armadillo Pepper TV. Today we're going to make some so simple sweet and spicy meatballs on the grill. This recipe is great when you have some unexpected guests or your neighbors pop over. You just need some pre-cooked meatballs, a little fruit-based barbecue sauce, and some jelly. So let's get the grill started and get these meatballs out. This will take less than 15 minutes. Just got some, we're going to keep these simple. We've got some green pepper, some red bell pepper, and some yellow pepper. You know, you only have green or you only have red, don't sweat it, no big deal. And what I did here was, um, these are, um, pre-cooked meatballs. We're keeping this really simple today. And I cut these uh, bell peppers up into, uh, you know, roughly one and a half inch pieces. Get the glaze going. The glaze has two components. We've got this fat bastard Captain Jack rum barbecue sauce. And we've got some angry goat orange pineapple jam. Now look, you don't have to have these. What you need is for, for you could for your jam, you could use strawberry preserves, strawberry jello, jelly, um, apricot jam. Uh, you could even use orange marmalade. For your barbecue sauce, just make sure you use a fruit-based barbecue sauce. I love this fat bastard. It's got mango, pineapple, strawberries, and yeah, you guessed it, Captain Spice Rum. So what I've done here is taken half of this jar, so in other words, four ounces of the uh, pineapple habanero pepper jam, put it in the microwave, melted it up, and then you want about six ounces of your barbecue sauce. Look, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, six ounces, seven ounces, five ounces, it's all gonna work. Then we're just going to get this stirred together. Look, the, one of the nice things, I don't know if you can see it, but this Captain Jack, is you can actually see pieces of fruit in this barbecue sauce. I don't know if you guys have had the Fat Bastard barbecue sauces. I've had every single one they make. They probably have a dozen. They're awesome. All right, you want your grill heated to medium high. I did put a little oil on these grates to try to keep things from sticking. We'll give them three or four minutes. Just gonna turn these guys. It's been about three minutes. I'll start this glaze. Just, you know, just like you were barbecuing some chicken or something on the sauce. You just want it to get nice and caramelized. We're going to turn these two or three times so you don't have to worry about getting it perfect. By the time you're done, it'll be awesome. Trust me. Okay. As I mentioned, it doesn't take very long. It's probably been 10, 12 minutes. Let's give these guys a try. I'm going to get a little pepper here and a meatball. Mmm. So right away you get that nice char on the meat ball from the grill. And I gotta tell you, this fat bastard Captain Jack, it's awesome. It's just got this wonderful fruit flavor, chunks of fruit. And then I will tell you, if you use this pineapple habanero pepper jelly that I showed you, do expect a little spice on the back end. I really like that. Um, if you don't want the spice, like I said, you can use just regular old peach preserves, apricot jam, strawberry jelly. All of those will go well with this Captain Jack. Mm. And these are so awesome. Hey, thanks for watching another episode of Armadillo Pepper TV. I hope you hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment. 